Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to share five basics of the Facebook ad. Let's get right into it. Okay, so as everyone know, like uh, Facebook is one of the biggest platform in the world and everyone is on it. And one of the thing, of, uh, good thing about Facebook ad is that it's, it's very cheap, but it's not as cheap as it used to be. But that's why you need to have a uh, different landing pages like to optimize it. But, uh, but most importantly, it's because like they have the massive, massive audience that is on the Facebook platform. What it means that is like you can actually know who is your audience and you know how uh, your avatar so you can create a specific creative uh, to t talk in front of them so that is a massive massive power because at google you can find it because google is more intentional it's about sales like instagram is owned by facebook is again it's more like a uh, branding right and as youtube is a little bit more like it's a branding plus uh, intentional it's a kind of sales but like um, YouTube I will talk about it later in a different video and there's also a very amazing channel and um, on, as a sales tool too so the first uh, the first point or first basic of the Facebook ad is like who you need to know who is avatar like I say let's say for example if you own a Japanese ramen restaurant you know that maybe a Japanese person that living in in your city would more likely to go to have a ramen rest uh, go to your restaurant because you make some of the authentic uh, Japanese noodle right so that's the thing that you you uh, you want to target with so if you do have that uh, in mind you can make a creative that is like maybe um, you can talk specific in the term that like Tokyo people only talk to when you talk to them so you can in the that specific language that you would use it in front of them so that is like uh, if that is the power of Facebook because you could be able to target them specifically so that's why your creative could like match the like specific avatar of the audience that is the point number one point number two is what what is like as I was just talk about in a little bit which is like um, the creative the creative like of course you can use photo you can use like a video and you can use text right and I would I would recommend using a video because like Facebook have become a video platform people would want to consume your um, your thing in a like a meme kind of studio uh, uh, format of video if you have a restaurant again a Japanese ramen restaurant you want to show off um, your video or uh, your food in the video and kind of in the meme format in the particular uh, content or way that people consume your content that is also very important that's point number two so point number three is where so where it means that like uh, because Facebook have the data know approximately where you live I don't I'm not sure that they know exactly where you live but they they, they definitely do know the area like if you uh, live in Markham if you live in uh, Ontario if you're in Toronto if you live in New York if you live in uh, California if you live in LA they know and even with that you can also even narrow it down to a particular region because as a small local business you cannot advertise like to the people who are living in the other side of the country or other side of the state because usually people don't drive up to an hour or two to get to where you at or get your service especially a restaurant so uh, with that Facebook does have that capacity to let uh, to let you pick someone that would be just like one or two mile within your surface location that is exactly what you want so you don't waste your money on the national ad they're wasting a lot of money on the targeting someone that would not be able to come to your store and point number uh, fourth is when you can actually um, do your Facebook ad 24 hours and like a seven week uh, seven times a week the reason is that like because Facebook have an algorithm or AI they will optimize that when would be the best time like to show off your ad for example if you're a ramen a restaurant they know that probably people are looking for ramen thing around like a three or four o'clock before the dinner time because like those are the time that they probably thinking about 
uh, the dinner plan or should they uh, or do they plan the route before they go back home and so they could go to the grocery store pick up stuff or like they go out to eat so if you cash them at that time you send a coupon saying or have promotion to let them know that today we have a special for uh, maybe like uh, get a ramen you get a gyoza or something like that you will probably like, catch attention if someone who may be on the fan they would like swing them from one side to the other side so facebook is very amazing and you can actually run it at five dollar a day and you would be able to like reach a lot of audience like uh like no other places you can reach that amount that many amount of people with five dollars and the last point is why and i think uh, this point is going to be very short because after all this like and you will probably come up to the reason why because it costs very little and you can target very specifically and you can um know who consume your content and you can uh, actually data to track it back and that and you can it actually costs very little money so i think that is the uh, those are the point that really really important and when you uh when the pandemic is over we can like start ramping up our uh, marketing and to talk to those customers and those would be the very very important um tool that you guys would have and to promote your business hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found this video um valuable please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel talk to you guys next time